Anna Eastern, and yes, my hair is all gone. <laughs> and I'm sure all of you have probably seen the video that I did with the tie tie chop. Why didn't I do this soon enough? I love it. I love it. I just wanted to welcome the new hair. I have a slogan for this hair. It's not a new me, no. It's just the real me exposed. I think before my hair just kind of hid my face a lot. I mean, unless I had it pulled back in a ponytail. I just love that it's all gone now because now it's not about the hair, it's about me. I mean, it's simple. I've had long hair all my life and so now I get to have short hair. My, my mom and my aunt, they have this idea that when you cut your hair, when a woman cuts her hair. It's a new start and I mean cutting my hair did have a purpose. I do want to like cut away and you know do with you know the old and just kind of have a fresh start and, and just really focus on me. My previous hairstyle um, I really kind of wanted to cut it for a long time and if you are a long-haired girl you know what I'm talking about. Ever since you're little, you had this, you know, people tell you, don't cut your hair, don't cut it off, don't ever do it, let your hair stay long forever. And I have listened for 22 years. That's a long time. I, I was pursuing modeling, and so I had this idea that if I keep my hair, I will look white enough and I will pass as a mixed race or multiracial looking model if I kept my long hair. And after a while, I just feel like I kept having a burden, a top burden, a top burden, a top burden of reasons to keep my hair. But not that these reasons are like, you know, anyone's fault. Of course they are my responsibility. But once I realized this, I was like, you know what? I don't care anymore about any of that stuff. So I'm gonna do the Tai Chai Chop and I'm gonna love it. This is just kind of like my way of saying, no world, I'm doing my own thing. Thank you. This, yes, there's a philosophy behind it. I'm sorry, I think very deeply about stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I love my hair. Again, I can't stop looking at it. Literally, I spend probably 30 minutes in front of the mirror just talking to myself. And it's probably sound creepy and really vain, but you know what? You just gotta do that. I needed that. I needed to feel like, yes, I love me. I love me in my skin. I've went through these glow up stages. <laughs> Middle school years, the worst. And really they're just like explore yourself stages and be unapologetic about who you are and what you find in yourself. That's partly why I started this channel. Yeah, my last year of college is in this YouTube channel, but it's also like me finding myself and you know, thinking that YouTube videos are cool. Being a film major and liking to make videos and edit something every week for myself is just fun. Uh, so, what am I doing with the gorgeous locks that I chopped off my head? Well, <laughs> I have an answer for you. Introducing China's locks for sale, 2 dollars Just kidding, just kidding. They're, they're not for sale, no. I'm not giving them to any of y'all, no. Um, I'm actually donating these beautiful locks to Pantene Beautiful Links. And it was actually pretty hard trying to figure out, man, what charity am I going to donate these locks to? I fell in love with Pantene Beautiful Links because they donate to any woman who suffers from cancer. They create a wig for her out of real human hair for free. I want to give my locks to a woman. A woman struggling because of cancer and things like that, she she needs this hair. She needs to have the glory that I had with this hair. So I'm really excited and I hope that these beautiful locks go to a really lucky woman somewhere across the world who needs to have herself liberated from the pressures of cancer by wearing my hair. So I'm really excited about being able to donate in a way that is not just my time or money, but I can donate something that was God-given, which was this hair. Cancer has plagued some members of my family, so I'm really excited to be able to support other people and their members of their family with this sort of donation. That's that. Guys, I just love... Ugh. I might have some more videos. Wow, this little piece is like... 
I think that's how I want it to go. I've never had short hair like this short before. So maintenance, learning how to keep it up, it's been like... <sighs> so what do I do when I go to bed with this hair? Um, uh, How do I keep this hair? Is it always gonna look like this every day? Whatevs. But oh, I must let you know by the way. I don't know, I feel like dancing. I must let you know that my interview for Essence is Tuesday. All right, that's it for me today. My name is China Eastern, and you can follow me at Yep Eastern on Instagram, Twitter, and anywhere that you can look up that tag. Thank you for watching and listening, and whatever else you do while you watch YouTube videos. And see you next time.